Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code called Missing Number. It's easy. Let's get started. Given an array nums containing n distinct numbers in the range 0 to n, return the only number in the range that is missing from the array. Example 1, we have a list of numbers, 3, 0, 1. Here we know that 2 is missing. The length of this input array is 3, so there should have been four numbers in total from 0 to 3 inclusive, and 2 is not in here. Example 2, the length is 2, so we should have three numbers in total, 0, 1, 2, but 2 is missing. And here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is not in this array. And we output 8. And a follow-up, can we implement a solution using only constant extra space and O of n runtime complexity? So let's work up to that solution. But first, what do we notice? If we have this example right here, we are given 3, 0, 1. The length of nums is 3. That means we should have seen a total of four numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3. 0 to 3 inclusive, right? But we are missing a number. Had we actually seen all of them, we should have had four numbers in total. But what do we notice here? 0, 1, 2, 3. This is a complete nums, but it also corresponds to the indices themselves. 0, 1, 2, 3. At index 0, we have a 0, 1, 2, 3. Here we have 3, 0, 1, and at index 3, we should have had 2, but that's missing. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to sort our input nums. So this will then become 0, 1, 3. And as soon as we see an index that doesn't match up with its corresponding value at that index, we know that that index is missing. Had it been there, it would have taken that spot. So as soon as we come across an index that does not match, we return that number. However, with that, let's look at one more example, the 0, 1 case. 0, 1. This matches the indices perfectly, right? But the missing number is 2. So that means the very last number in our input is missing once we go through, loop through, and try all the indices to the corresponding numbers, and we see they don't match. We know it has to be the last number the number would be the length of nums itself, and all we have to do is return that. So how would this look like if we were to code this up? First thing we want to do is sort nums. So nums sort is going to be an increasing order. Now we want to loop through from the indices. So for index in range length of nums. So if the length of nums is 4, it's going to go from 0 to 3. It's not inclusive. If the index is not equal to the value at that index, then we return that index. That means that's a number that doesn't match. If we go through this entire for loop and we never return, then we know that very last number, the length of numbers itself, was a number missing. So we return length of numbers. Let's go ahead and run this code. Accept it and submit. And is it accepted as well? So the space and time complexity for the solution. Because we do sort, it's n log n. And this is a sort in place. So besides that, we're not using any extra space. So that is O of 1 space. But remember what the follow-up said. Can we do it in O of n runtime complexity? How do we go better than this? Well, let's look at this example again. 3, 0, one. If we had every single number, we would have had 3, 0, 1, 2. We know that there's only one number missing. It's unique, it's distinct, and because of this, we can actually see the missing number through some arithmetic. 3 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2. That sums to 6. 3 plus 0 plus 1 sums to 4. The difference between a full nums list versus our input missing nums is the number that is missing. So that is all we need to do. We need to the sum of our input nums 
And we want to subtract this from our complete nums. And if we know the length of nums is 3, that means we should have every single number from 0 to 3 inclusive. And how do we find a sum for 0 to n inclusive? Well, there's a formula for that, n into n plus 1, everything divided by 2. If you want to look up the proof for that, it's super easy, you'll find it online. But that's exactly what we are going to do here. So all we have to do is return the sum of our full nums array had it been there. So that is going to be length of nums into length of nums plus 1. So n into n plus 1, everything divided by 2, minus the sum of our input nums. So let's go ahead and run this. Let's see, runtime error, not to find. There we go. Run code. Long answer. Oh, we need an extra set of parentheses around n plus 1. Otherwise, it is just multiplying and then adding. So with this, if we run code, now it is accepted and submit. And accepted as well. So space and time complexity for this. Um, space complexity would be O of 1. We're just doing some math. And time, because we are summing through all of nums, this is O of n. If you have any questions at all, let me know down below. Otherwise, I will see you next time.